Here's a recent article that excites me. Number one, because they studied specifically postmenopausal women. And number two, they didn't just look at hot flashes. This is looking at the risk and occurrence of metabolic syndrome as tied to fiber intake. Now, even though they have studied African-American women who are postmenopausal, I do think that these findings are going to be able to be used for all women who are postmenopausal. So you may have heard me say that the recommended amount of fiber intake for a woman per day is a minimum of 25 grams per day. When these women were recruited for the study, the average fiber intake was about 10 grams per day, higher than the average postmenopausal index of about 8.5 grams per day. They were divided into two groups, one of them having 14 grams of fiber per day and the other having 21 grams of fiber per day. And the women who were having 21 grams of fiber per day versus 14 had a statistically significant improvement, not only in their metabolic disease score, but in their triglycerides and their fasting glucose. So full disclosure, I have created a fiber supplement for my patients and my followers. This is our Fiber GDX dietary supplement. Now you should get the vast majority of your fiber from food. And if you can get it all from food, that is the best way. But if you struggle and you can't, this is a good helper. Now, easily I get 25 grams of fiber per day through my diet, but I am pushing to 35. I want that upper limit of normal because also in that study, the higher your intake of fiber was, the lower your risk of metabolic syndrome and there was no upper limit. So if you need help and you're looking for a safe, efficacious, tested fiber source, I invite you to try the Pause Nutrition Fiber GDX. Link is in our bio.